No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Hey, so I'm here with John from Hive Lighting, uh, which is a plasma-based lighting company, and uh, I personally am not familiar with all the ins and outs of the differences between plasma and other lights, so uh, what can you fill me and, and us in? Sure, yeah, so uh, we're here at the Hive Lighting booth at NAB 2015, and uh, plasma really, best way to think about it is uh, HMI is 2.0. It's a high output but low power draw daylight balance lamp. So that really means it's a great use for uh, all your HMI applications, maybe some of your larger incandescent applications, so your tungsten bulbs, and then also um, something that can be used uh, you know, in parallel with uh, your brighter LEDs. So uh, if you think of LEDs as uh, you know, an energy efficient light source uh, that maybe replaces your fluorescence, maybe replaces your broader sources that are really um, you know, going to be a flood or they're going to be a soft source, plasma is really a single point source hard, long throw light source. And the benefits from that are it can light very great distances, uh, it can fill your soft boxes, it's great for doing bounce work with, and also it's cuttable and shapeable. So that can be really important depending on what your needs are on set. Benefits of plasma are they're flicker free, that low power draw. We can do uh, a 275 watt bulb that does the same work as a 575 watt HMI, as well as long bulb life, 30,000 hours of bulb life. Very high color quality, 94 CRI. So they're, they're uh, you said they're flicker free, so you can use them at um, for high speed. Exactly. So with uh, flicker free, we can do very very high frame rates. So not just you know your 120 frames per second or your 300 frames per second. We're actually flicker free into the millions of frames per second. We cycle 450 million times a second, which means that you're rock solid. You know anywhere from 10 to um, 10 million frames. And size wise, what is sort of the the smallest light, and then how high does it go as far as output? Absolutely. So what's really great about the, the show this year is we're introducing a bunch of frames. So we take our WASP Plasma Par, that's sort of our base unit. That's a 275 watt light that can replace a 575 watt HMI. But then we have a two light, four light, and six light frame that allow you to build those pods up to create bigger and brighter lights. So at the top end of that is our six light. That's a 1600 watt light, only pulls 14 amps, and is almost as bright as a 4K HMI. So that's really the brightest light you can plug into a 20 amp circuit now. And compared to an HMI, what is the throw like of that? Sure, so it's going to be a little bit different than say a, a single 4K HMI. It's going to be a lot more like your experience with a 9 light or a 12 light. It's a bunch of small lights, but it makes it really great for lighting a huge area, throwing long distances, uh, as well as bouncing it through diffusion or uh, just bring, you know, faking sunlight coming in uh, you know, a large area. It's a really powerful light source, but again, you can plug it right into the wall. So where does where do have have lights fa fall on the uh, sort of price spectrum of are people mainly renting these are there what are the low cost and what is the high high end cost that that sort of stuff? Absolutely. So it really depends on the kind of production you're on. What's nice about them is they're going to be less expensive than your HMIs, both to rent and to buy. So in general, the Wasp Par, a replacement for a 575, rents for about $100 a day. That tends to be about $25 to $50 less than the equivalent HMI, uh, depending on where you are uh, in the country. Beyond that, because you're never going to have a bulb burn out, there's a lot of ancillary costs that you don't have to deal with. So a lot of the power runs, the generators, being able to plug seven of them into a 20 amp circuit really can save you a lot of money on a smaller production. Now, if you're looking to own, they're also relatively inexpensive to buy compared to the HMI equivalent. A 575-watt HMI kit is usually going to run you between four dollars to $6,000 less pricing. Our WASP PAR is only $3,350. So again, you have some pretty significant savings there. But it really depends on your budget. Right. Uh, and then, you know, where do you see plasma lighting going in the future? Not just talking about the products that you have here at NAB, but obviously it's a fairly new thing. Like, where do you see it, it heading? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the first place that plasma is really... Uh, taken off has been the high-speed market. That lack of flicker really makes it appealing to that. But I think as you see productions needing to be smaller and more nimble, needing high output, high quality light, but not being able to bring the generators they used to be able to have on set, especially when it comes to pulling permits, etc., uh, I think plasma is going to really grow as an alternative for your high output daylight sources. So that's really where I see it, it taking off. And I think that, you know, we've been around for a couple years now, but uh, what people need to remember is actually plasma has only been available for the film and television market for about five years. We're, we're actually in year 15 for LEDs. So it takes a little while for uh, new technology to catch on. And I think that right now we're actually beginning to see the point where people have heard of plasma and are excited to try it. So uh, here at Hive, we're really excited to get it out to the market. 
Great. So, uh, can you tell us about your website where people can find out more about your products and whether uh, is it a direct sale or is it through uh, resellers? Sure. So you can uh, buy or rent directly from us or through resellers. So you can go to hivelighting.com. Uh, we're going about to launch a rental site, so that's going to be available starting uh, next month. Uh, currently, you can buy directly from us. There's a store on hivelighting.com, and then we have a number of resellers that you can contact depending on where you are in the world or in the country. Great. Thanks so much, John. Thanks a lot.